Hai ya. That's it. Thank you, comrade. Some for you. Oh, you need a bit more than that, I think. Hi, Led. Charlie! <laughs> How does it start? Oh, uh, about an hour. Yeah, do you want to take some leave? Let's hand them out for us, eh? OK. Yeah, I can't believe. Did them on the computer. <laughs> See you out there, then. Next door to you. So what, what are you handing out? Is socialism dead? Is it? No. It's just there's no socialist party in the mainstream. You know, people have to... Like this march, people have to do things like this. Would you have come? I have to get back, I'll start back at two. By the way, what's your name? I see you every day, I don't even know your name. Charlie. Mine's Alice. I'll see you then. Charlie! You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, good. Well, it went okay. Better turn out than expected. <laughs> we'll go for a drink now. You, you're coming. No, oh, Tar. I've got to get the bus. All right, well, uh, see you Thursday. See you then. Come on, don't leave us a little bit. Charlie, what are you up to? Nothing. Just, uh...
I'm moving out, not very far on the other side of town. I wanted to get to know you before I went. You could come round tomorrow night. It's my last night here. OK. and opposed, still taking place. Deaths every day, destruction every day. We were promised the people welcome American troops with open arms. Tony Blair says the United Nations would take control of the oil and that oil would be used for the people of Iraq. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. The war goes on. A worldwide poll suggests the United States is now seen as the biggest threat to world peace in any other country, even Iran. The annual survey shows a continued decline in support for the US since 1999. So, is that your lot? Yeah. We best get going then. Have you got a pen up or borrow? Sure. Thanks. I want a minute. region. We're reminded of the words of George Bush back in 2003. My fellow citizens, at this hour, American and coalition forces are in the early stages of military operations to disarm Iraq, to free its people, and to defend the world from grave danger. On my orders, coalition forces have begun striking selected targets of military importance to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage war. These are opening stages of what will be a broad and concerted campaign. I want Americans and all the world to know that coalition forces will make every effort to spare innocent civilians from harm. We come to Iran with respect for its citizens, for their great civilization, and for the religious faiths they practice. We have no ambition in Iran. 